Yes. And welcome. We have a very interesting Thank show you. today. It, it was really awesome. I'm back with you again. You I are. Love it. You it's are. Like, well, you know, you know, life is good up here with Lori. Our best friends. <laughs> this is the part of the show that we call relationships mm -hmm. and strategies. <laughs> yes. The two do go together. Yes, they do. <laughs> Very well. And what we were talking about, we just want to piggyback on what Lewis was talking about as far as just saying no. Yeah. What, what's your thought on that, Lord? Because I know you oh. have a different perspective. I Well, I don't everything. know that I have. Yeah, well, I am different <laughs> in my thought process. Um, it's something that we've actually been talking about for a long time um, with a meetup group that we were at previously um, where we talked about how it's so easy to say, oh, yeah, I'll be there. Yeah, I can do that for you. Yeah, sure, 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 not, not a problem. Let me help you with that. And at some point in time, you become overwhelmed. And I was just talking to Randall and um, Lewis actually earlier today about how I am just at the point in my, um, personally, that I am just overwhelmed. I had to sit down and really look at what's important, where my commitment time has to go, and how to apply it. And to be able to look at you and say, darling, I'd love to help you, but I just can't. Yes. And, and for them, not to take that as an offense, but to understand that time is money and time is quality. And whether it's work time or family time, it's very, very important to, to really allocate your time appropriately. But do not ever forget about quality of lifetime. Because if you don't have that, the other two, just you're just spinning your wheels. And so that's, you know... Even I, who are very good about um, preaching to people about what they should be doing, um, had to sit back and <laughs> look at my life and say, hey, you know, maybe I need to say no Yeah. and make some changes. And what it's really been a trend in the, pers the business and personal development arena, mm -hmm. which I try to make sure that I keep up on. Most of the, the thought leaders are talking about time management. In fact, we're probably going to expound on that more on our next show because we need some, in addition to what Lewis talked about, some practical tips of what we actually can be doing in our business because busyness is not the key to success. And one of the things that I, I always talk about in saying no is sometimes you have to say no to time wasters and mm -hmm. energy drainers in your life. And you have to be able to recognize those people. I think that's what we'll talk about a little bit in our next show. I'm gonna make sure I look at this video to give myself encouragement. Lewis, because, you're gonna have to allot a lot more time yes, for that one. Yes, yes indeed. <laughs> because what happens is, there's a, a, a core group of us mm -hmm. who support each other in our businesses and, and we, we want to help and spread the word of encouragement to business owners, but the bottom line is all of us need to have a successful business. What are some of the things that can help us with the successful business? Well, I venture to say that if we do a simple math problem, let's say that we have 10 things going on in our day, and when you really look at them like Lewis talked about, right. half of those might be things that you really don't want to do. And I run into, with my clients, when I talk to them about what they do, uh, usually half of that stuff is busy work that they yeah. consider to be work that's producing income, but it really isn't. Delegation so, is hard for people, isn't it? Well, because like Lewis talked about, right. we're we're built with this this sense of, well, okay, yeah, I'll see what I can do. Um, yeah. You know, I'll I'll email you. I'll I'll see if I can talk about that. And I talked to somebody else, but I don't remember who it was, but. Really, just saying no, I, I try to not be as harsh, some people say, but sometimes you just have to say no, you really do. And it's, you know what's interesting, Lori? What? It's yeah. liberating when you say no. It is. It, I mean, you, you go, you can go, whew. I didn't, I didn't yes. take that commitment on. And it's, and it's easier for people who are black and white like you are. It's, it's like, it's in, it's out, and you and Lewis are basically the same. For some of us ladies, it's a little harder because, you know, we have a tendency to want to coddle and, and help people along. But it's okay. You're still a hot mama if you can say no. It's it's all right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and one of the things that's nice about um, what's encouraging about no is that don't just say no. Fill that time in with some things that you need. Mm -hmm. 
like for instance, I always talk about this book, Guide to Investing. What happens when you free time up, now you have time to read and, and get some information that's going to help create more imp more stuff for your business. Right. It's all kinds of what's not going on behind the camera. Yeah. I'm, I'm just, just, I'm losing it. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, they we're doing this live. They are filling their time by being productive. Yes, and they're There's probably saying no. There's nothing wrong with that. Yes. <laughs> but at this point, what we're going to do is stop right here okay. because we're going to get into our announcements portion right. but we want to thank everybody for tuning in to it's a great day for, for business, business at Atlanta. Atlanta.